And what we have here is we have a snag in the shirt. And uh, in order to make it not show, what we'd like to do is pull the snag through to the back. Now for this I'm going to use a couple of different things. I have a sewing needle, a relatively uh, large sewing needle with, with a big eye. And a standard needle threader. A lot of people try to push the snag through the material from the top. It's kind of difficult. But a better way might be to try to take a large needle, pretty large eye, and uh, a needle threader, and actually try to thread the snag into the needle and then pull the needle through. Here's a needle. You got a regular old needle threader. Try to get the snag in the loop of the needle threader and pull it right into the needle. I think I got it. Like that. And then just pull the needle right through the material. And there we got the snag on the back side. And we're good to go. Not too bad, eh? Another technique, which might be a little easier and works better with a, a large pull or a snag, is uh, basically uh, thread a loop through your needle. Again, this is a kind of large needle. And uh, we have a thread through here uh, with the large loop at the end. And what we'll do is, again, place the needle at the base of the pole, pull it through, now grab the loop on top of the material and pull the rest of the thread and the needle right through the material. Now this is going to give you a little loop here that you can lasso your pull. Here's a pull. I'll hold it and then from the bottom of the thread just pull it tight around the snag and then just pull the snag right through the material. And we've got the snag now on the bottom of the material and this looks pretty good.